What's cooking with New Kenny Ice Tea? Take one. Good afternoon, Chef Kozak here. We're over at uh, New Caney High School. We're here with um, some great friends and we're gonna do some cooking today. And this is? Hi, I'm Dr. Riaz. I'm the principal at White Oak Middle School. Welcome. Hey everybody, Jonathan Powell. I am principal at Keefer Crossing Middle School. We wanna start making homemade tortillas today. So we're gonna do them from scratch. We're gonna start off with our wonderful uh, flour, masa. Two cups of flour on that. And then we're gonna need one and a half cups of water. The kind of consistency of, of like Play-Doh? Uh, yeah, Play-Doh, like absolutely, or a okay. pizza dough. Okay. Now, if you guys want to open your boxes for your tortilla presses, we're going to do this. And, and I understand you're going to be using this. Yeah, I got this, we got this. So about how big are we? Are we uh, we're going uh, on the small side because you have to remember by the time we press these out, you don't want them too big. So we'll start with that. Okay. Better not and then you want to open up yours and put your paper in between and then you're going to press. Great. I think her technique's off. Let's get some flour on her table for her. You know, my mom, let me tell you how my mom makes okay. it. She don't use none of this. She does the, the hand. Okay. And then you just get it to where you want it. Well. Okay, well let's do it that up. way. <laughs> That's, yeah, before you give it up. Oh my gosh, Jonathan, no, I'm not giving up. Hold on. Look how, look how beautiful it's, it's going there. If you do it by hand. It's gonna be a little fluffier. You can actually open uh -oh. it up and stuff it with cheese. Uh oh, guys. I have overflowed. Oh, that's okay. You wanna try it with this one? I'm not good. <laughs> <laughs> this one's a no go. Give it up on that one. We'll that Mom, one. if yeah. you're watching, I'm so sorry yeah. if I'm disappointing you. I have a pizza parcel. Jonathan, do you wanna come watch to see how to do it? To see how to one? really do it? Yeah. That's a, gonna be a big tortilla. Okay. Okay, you win so far. All righty. Yeah. Very go. good. Excellent job. Now we're going to go into uh, grilling them. We have the grill on so we can cook our tortillas. Ed, did you want to do the honors while we're talking? So Ed's grilling that. We're going to talk a little bit about guacamole and grilling salsa, okay? So we have a lot of the fresh vegetables here that um, we're working with the tomas, tomatillas, uh, jalapenos, some fresh garlic some onions here. Um, we can get one of the grills going and char, grill the vegetables. And this wonderful uh, piece of equipment I have here in front of me is uh, called a... Molcajete. Thank you. So we'll take uh, the avocado out. Fun fact, the first time I tried to make guacamole homemade in college, mm -hmm. I, I didn't understand that there were different ripeness levels of avocados. Oh, yes. So I just got the ones that I thought were the prettiest green. Right. It was a pretty big fell. Yeah. Pretty big fell. This is awesome. My husband's going to be watching like, she don't do that at home. <laughs> Does Leo cook at home? Okay, wait, yeah, we do. Both of us can cook. Whoever gets home first. So I conveniently get home. Like yeah, most of the time. You're like, thank you when you leave work. <laughs> yes. You just need to know. No, I enjoy cooking. I like cooking. I just don't have the time. But during our holiday break, man, I, I get a lot of cooking. Yeah. What's your favorite, favorite thing to cook at home? Um, I love to do enchiladas, like the Mexican way, uh -huh. or the tomatada. I like to do chile relleno. Mm -hmm. I cook, I, I cook almost exclusively at, at the house. After Ed gets the tortillas off, we're gonna move into uh, cooking the meats on the grill. All right. And then we're gonna have a party. Oh. Oh, thank you. It's a skirt steak. You can see how it's laid out. This is the inside of the uh, of the cow behind the rib cage. I want to cut it in half. I also want to trim it up a little bit. You can see the the fat that's uh, marbled in here. Culinary school, we had a uh, they gave us a half of a cow to butcher all the primal and subprimal cuts. And we had to do that in about an hour and a half. So. Oh, wow. Was the cow alive at first? Uh, no, we, we, we got a dead cow. <laughs> like just a half a cow. A half, a half, yeah, uh, from the head down to the tail. Half a cow. A half a cow, absolutely. Yes. Okay, she's going to work on uh, tenderizing the meat. I'm going to trim up the other piece and then we're going to get grilling. And you can just season this slightly with some salt, some pepper, some fresh garlic. Okay, 
Okay, while you guys are waiting on that, I'm going to step over here to the right. I'm going to grill the chicken, but I'm going to leave the other pan for you guys to start grilling your own meat. There's a pair of tongs here. So the kids uh, marinated this last night for us. Oh, that's you. Yeah. It's hot. It's just a privilege working with you guys and cooking. You guys are doing a fantastic job. Yeah. Jonathan, what was your favorite childhood meal? Jambalaya. Jambalaya. Yeah, my mom was uh, very much Asian. And uh -huh. um, she made a really good jambalaya. And so I love that. I love my mom's beef stew. My mom makes good cornbread. So that was another standard favorite meal that we often have. I love that. What about you? I have a couple. I really like the way my mom makes the traditional Mexican enchiladas. So they're they're not all saucy and everything. They're uh -huh. filled with cheese mm -hmm. and they have the potatoes. And um, or just the traditional tamales, you know. But we only get those around Christmas time because they're kind of. What's the filling in the tamales? Pork. Okay. We do pork. Um, sometimes we do um, just refried beans. Um, the other one that we like to do is just like the queso fresco, but we put the the jalapeno peppers. Sure. So it's, 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 we get a nice little variety. Yeah. So I am looking forward to that this Christmas. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, two shots premium medium saute pan and some uh, water, please. Rice? I know rice. Okay, so I we'll get you on the back burner. We'll okay. finish up the rice for you. Here's your saute pan for your rice. Do you need oil or where do you want? Where are you going to go? Okay, so we're going to go back to you. Okay, I'm going to go to the burner. Are you ready? You know what? Okay, okay. All right, guys. It's wet and there's oil. So I'm warning everybody. There might be a little plain. Okay. You good? Good job. Woo! Sorry. There we go. I don't know. I don't know. That's going to be good. All right, here we go. Yeah. This is perfect, perfect. This is magic. That's it. This is the magic. That after the beef gets cut, put it in a fresh pan, and then let's get a clean cutting board, and we're going to do the chicken next, okay? And then uh, one of the girls can come over and get some of the dishes off the table and get us cleaned up for dinner. How do you go to your taco? Um, put a little bit of everything. In the sauce. What do you do first? What's that? Like, kind of Kind of like a little bit of little bit of rice, a little bit of beans, lots of hot sauce. I like I like the spicy. I might get a little chunk of the the, the jalapeno. All righty. Yes. Cheers, Jonathan. Great job, guys. Great yeah. job. There you go. Enjoy. Bon appetit. Mm. So holidays are coming up. What are some of the holiday dishes you're looking forward to? So my, my mom does the traditional tamales every year. She does pork, she does um, beans, and you know she does the, the queso fresco slices with the jalapeno peppers. We also do menudo, which is like the intestine of the cow with different hominy and things like that that go into it. But uh, most importantly, I just think it's like the games we play around the table. We, you know, we do loteria, we tell stories, um, we do prayers. So it's just like really, really neat traditions. Um, I told my mom I need to learn the recipe for the tamales because we definitely don't want tradition to end with her. And so we want to keep keep learning. So well, we usually uh, do filet uh, mignons Christmas Eve. Uh, we'll do them off the grill with uh, a, a nice uh, asparagus, uh, holiday sauce, bernay sauce uh, for the beef, roasted potatoes. Christmas day is just kind of, you know, a, a great big breakfast. Uh, I'll do homemade biscuits and gravy. We'll get the waffle iron out, do some waffles and eggs, and just kind of hang out and enjoy it, you know, the time as a family. My family makes uh, corn casserole, green bean casserole, stuffing, we, and I uh, usually have a, a, a big ham that we all enjoy together. Um, and of course, mashed potatoes with lots and lots and lots of heavy cream. All of you need to rate Dr. Rios' rice. Yeah. Okay. On a scale of one to it's ten. Phenomenal. Girls, grab some plates behind you. you. Gotta remember though, I didn't get to brown it as good because it was already a little bit previously cooked. You're on camera, so your facial expression counts. <laughs> <laughs> Is it laughable? Is that what you're saying? No. <laughs> you want it. Okay.
Yeah. Okay, you hear what Jonathan said? What do you say? He said he gives it a nine and a half right. out of ten. Yeah. What happened to the combative spirit? I miss the competitiveness. Now I feel like y'all are friends now. We are friends. Well, I didn't also make rice. Uh, if I would have <laughs> also made rice, <laughs> it'd be back on. Yeah. Thank you so much for watching us, and we'll see you guys in our next episode. Bye. Bye. Bye.